Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda HRV 1.6. It's the X Diesel. Top of the range car, car's covered just 46,800 miles from you, so a lovely low mileage one. It's also got a fantastic service history. Uh, it's been kept in lovely condition. Finishing this really nice, I think it's amorphous blue, something like that. Metallic with black leather interior, and it's in super condition. Front of the car, lights and lenses are completely clear and intact. There's no cracks or condensation there. Bonnet, exceptionally clean. Can't see any obvious stone chips. There will be one or two, but I can't see them. Near side, beautifully smooth in the panels, no car park indentations. Near side front alloy, very good for a near side wheel that's nearly nine years old. It's got the odd tiny mark, but nothing to write home about. I mean, the panel works lovely and it's just been washed off, it's not even been polished, so you're kind of seeing it as it is. The inside rear alloy again, very good. And coming around the back, bumper corners, really nice, as is the bumper itself. Same for the tailgate and then entry sort of dinks or dents there. And then offside, driver side, again, absolutely like a mirror in the panels, beautifully clean. Inside, offside rear alloy, sorry. In super condition and main panel work is absolutely beautiful. The final alloy really good. It's the only one's got a tiny bit of um, lack of peel. One I spoke, I think, of one just cooking the other one, but in, in all honesty, if that's all I can find with a car that age, it's done very well indeed. From the boot area, absolutely cavernous boots. And if you lift the um, bottom cover up, you've got a huge storage area underneath and it's been kept in lovely condition as well. It's coming to the back, you've got an enormous amount of space in the back and you've got the clever magic seats so they flip up as well. Uh, leg room, that's set for me the front seats and I'm six foot tall so you see just how much leg room you get. Unfortunately most HRVs are used for family use which means they can be very heavily used in the back yet this one, leather work looks almost like new in the back, it's incredibly clean. In front of the passenger side, yeah, all very, very clean and tidy. As with the rear seats, front passenger seat there, super condition. Finally, coming on the driver's side, door card again, lovely and clean. Same with the footwell areas, full set of tailored rubberized mats, which is always a nice sign of ownership, in my opinion. The driver's seat again, in super condition there. So, inside the car now, engine's running as always to this section, so the dash is illuminated which to all intents and purposes looks like new. Sat in there, as you can see working exactly as it should. We've got the counter version of that rear parking camera, which complements the front and rear parking sensors fitted to the car. And coming down, it's just been kept in lovely order. Coming to the main dash binnacle, hopefully you can see, 46,817 miles. No warning lights on at all whilst the engine's running. The blue light you see there is just because the engine's cool as soon as it's done um, warmed up. That light goes out. Uh, but it is in really, really lovely condition in here. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda HRV 1.6 EX diesel. This car is registered WF65 VPD. Our mileage on the car currently is 46,817 miles. The reason we do these videos, and actually especially this road test section, is to make sure that if anyone's online looking at any of the cars we're selling, they get to see the very car advertised actually in operation. Um, the reason we've always felt it important is because, like lots of people, um, we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs or description but then when you get there you find out it's got an obvious fault that shows up when you drive the car which can be hugely frustrating um, we also do it on these very quiet country roads in this absolutely lovely part of Gloucestershire this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on and the hope is it'll be representative of what you feel yourself um, if you went on a test drive in the car so coming to the car um, low mileage fantastic service history Good combination means that it's going to drive nicely and it does it drives absolutely beautifully um, engine starts instantly push button start top top of the range car settles to smooth even idle uh, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car uh, the 
engines are simply superb diesel engines um, it's one of these diesels where you can get in and drive it and get good economy straight away you, you know it's better to drive smoothly it's better to do all the things you should do as a driver you've got eco modes you've got rev um, gear prompts and all, all things to help you um, but it's not one of those that um, um, you know you've got to sort of tread on sort of eggshells to get it to achieve any sort of decent economy because uh, they are exceptionally good in that sense um, being a Honda just good regular maintenance will give them um, a longevity and reliability which is pretty much unmatched in this class and they are cam chain driven so there's no cam belts to worry about in them at all that's only really part of the story with the engine though because the one thing I've always loved about this engine it's um, getting some you know turbo diesels and they, they kind of make you feel that they're quick got lots of power but then they die away they've got very short narrow power bands this you put your foot down it picks up keenly but it just keeps going keeps going it doesn't sort of fade away too much uh, but it also when you're on the move it's very quiet indeed uh, very civilized engine then feeds through into the clutch and gearbox in the car the clutch on the car is absolutely perfect smooth and positive um, the gearbox is one of the best gearboxes you will ever use in all honesty uh, it's one of honda's strengths always has been is the quality of their gear changes um, this has got a you know perfect position for the gear lever your hand just falls naturally to it um, short stubby gear stick short throws precise mechanical feeling uh, gear change it is absolutely brilliant uh, more so because like most front wheel drive cars um, the gear linkage as such is cables so unfortunately that does mean lots of manufacturers that tend to give you kind of vague lifeless long lollopy uh, gear changes this is the opposite it's absolutely wonderful and that feels exactly as it would have done when it's new just, just they just don't seem to wear at all then coming on to the steering and chassis of the car um, these have always driven well they're kind of they've got this, they're kind of keen to change direction you know then you know, to say they're sporty, sporty it would be stretching it uh, what they are is very very capable at what they're designed to do which is ferrying um, kids around so it's a 40 mile an hour limit that's ridiculous um, the ride comfort is exceptionally good really well judged uh, but when you go through corners like the one up here you've got this lovely weighted steering on the car um, turn in minimal movement pinpoint accurate very little body motion and body roll it's just beautifully done absolutely beautifully done um, steering also tracks dead straight there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limits actually um, and the suspension exhibits absolutely no clonks, rattles, anything from underneath the vehicle at all. It's all in very, very good order there. Just going to give the brakes a bit of a shove, make sure no one's directly behind me. A really good, powerful brake pedal on the car. Um, what I'm looking for is any kind of sort of pulsing and vibrations coming back through the brake pedal. And there's absolutely nothing at all. It's lovely and solid. Um, and then finally coming inside. Um, you've got really lovely interior huge glass panoramic roof so it really brightens up the interior a lot and um, sort of dark interiors i've always liked them um, but they can be quite oppressive when there's you know especially on duller days like today when you've got this such a um, expanse of glass above your head letting natural light in it just really makes it feel much nicer in here um, very well put together cars um, also very easy just to jump in and drive um, they are you've got all the sort of traits that you get from a Honda they're just you know, the quality of the actuation of all the switch gears really high quality but the layout of the dash is very very simple and easy to use you've got a Garmin based sat nav system which is a doddle which you've used it a couple of times dual zone climate control system on the separate panel here um, and that pumps out absolutely ice cold air by the way um, You've got dual zones, you can have different temperatures side to side if you really wish as well. Um, and obviously you've got your heated seats, all checked, all working. And then in front of me, you've got your classic Honda binnacle, just simple, legible, high quality dials, which means that you know when you're looking to get the information, 
you get it instantly, you're not having to sort of squint to take the information in. And then finally you've got this lovely leather bound steering wheel which feels great in hand. It's been kept in lovely, lovely condition in here. It really is a fantastic car, this one. Uh, and I can't fault it. 